you're watching the Marcy Minute and today I am a little under the weather in case you can't see or hear it and I thought what better to do than to start my holiday crafting as though I holiday craft every year I'm gonna craft this year I know I said that as though I do it all the time I'm not a big crafter but I am somewhat of a hoarder a little bit and I've been collecting corks for about a year I've known that I would have a purpose for them and now Pinterest has proven that I do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cork wreath. I think this is a really chic, fun, and cheap idea. Everyone loves wine, and like wine is super in. This is a fun thing you can do for your own home. I do think it also kinda like makes people think, oh, you're so crafty and, you know, whimsical and darling. It also is a great gift, and whether you are a wino or not, you can collect these on your own. You can ask your local watering hole, country club, restaurant uh, to save them for you, or your friends too. It's a really pretty easy thing to do. But what I will say is that you probably can't do it on your own. You need about 200 corks to get one wreath, so make sure that you plan accordingly. So these wreaths, this wreath as you can see, was about $1.50. The corks were free, and I do have plenty of them. There's a huge box to my right that you can't see. You'll also need glue, like a hot glue gun, and a pink one is awesome if you can do that. A little ribbon, uh, and you're gonna need some twine at the end to create your hook for it. So basically, it's pretty simple. What you do to start is you take, you're gonna cover the inside of the wreath. So you're gonna take your glue, generously apply it to a cork and then you're going to line the inside of the wreath. Now you're only going to do one side of the wreath, right? Obviously, but you still do need a lot of them and you're going to do two layers. So we're going to do one cork at a time. I am going to use the plastic corks for this for the bottom layer because these don't look as cool, but we all know they're abundantly available. A little wine fact for those of you that ever like think you're being a wine snob and you don't like plastic corks or twist off bottles, the way that wine is packaged actually has nothing to do with the actual quality of the wine. Um, so don't turn your nose up at a twist off because it could be perfectly delicious, you just don't even know it. All right, I am gonna keep you guys uh, updated throughout my crafting and have some crafting fun of your own. Okay, so I'm working on my crafting, and as you can see, with the first layer, you want to make sure to try to get the corks as flat as you can. You can do them vertically or horizontally. Just make sure you get them as flat as you can. Um, I looked up some different pictures online, and I like my way. I'm just doing it my own way, I guess. So for the second layer, you're going to start kind of placing them however you'd like. Just Staggered. There isn't a third layer, so this layer you want to get crazy. Some of them I lined up, some of them I've started to do a little bit more here where, you know, they're kind of crazy and staggered. So this is fun, and the thing I love about wine is that it's delicious, but also uh, I think it's a really great way to meet people, you know, I think it's good to show that you're refined if you know things about wine, and it's ever-changing, you know, whether it's in the bottle or in society, the rules of wine are changing. Like, did you know that you actually don't have to order white wine with fish anymore? Drink whatever you want. I love that. Also, wine is a great gift to bring people, as long as you know they drink. Funny fact I learned in GQ was actually that the wines that we are making nowadays are not meant to age. They are meant to be drank right now. So that's just an interesting thing to know. So don't go saving your, you know, 2012s for 2022. You'll regret it. All right, I'm going to keep crafting. Okay, so I did my final layer, and as you can see, I'm freaking Marcy Stewart. I'm so pumped. This was so easy, you guys. It probably took me about half an hour to complete. So this is a fun, easy way to treasure your memories, too. I have some corks on here that I've gotten at different wine tasting events or different birthdays. Uh, there's a few Charles Shaw in there, too, from just random Wednesday nights. But this is a great way to create something with your own hands that's special, that is decorative, and, you know, use a little ribbon, make a holiday bow, and there you have it. That's all for today. For more fashion, fun, travel tips, lifestyle, whatever you want, visit the Marcy Minute, subscribe to my channel, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I will see you guys next time.